We're here to talk through this Nuramesu puzzle by Prasanna Sashadri. This is another new style for us this week, and this is this genre originated first with the Nikoli magazines in Japan. Uh, the Nuri probably uh, coming from Nurakabe, inspired by that sense of a connected uh, stream, no two by two cells. In this puzzle, actually, both the uh, shaded and unshaded don't form two by two groups. And Mesu, the other half of the name coming from the word maze, uh, English word, but it's going to be a path puzzle. We don't want to have connected loops in the space, and so it was another style that Prasanna suggested for us had some different variety over other shading puzzles we had. I think that it has some loop path character to it because of the maze constraint it makes it interesting to think about. Um, knowing that all the given clues are used and knowing that if I actually change over to the path drawing tool, all circles are part of a connected path. Every circle we're trying to connect in, and so whenever it hits a cell through its two edges, going to have to come uh, here and give us some results, uh, including marking off some more uh, cells in green. Um, we should recognize some things. First, um, here's, for instance, a 2 by 2 cell. I'm not going through both of those. If they're both shaded or unshaded, that's a problem. And uh, I also don't want to come up here because it form a loop through the maze. But how does this end connect to the rest of this maze? It's got to dodge this triangle, and so it's going to have to come some long way around this bottom to make that work. To avoid a two by two square, this is shaded, this is shaded, this is unshaded. I still have to make this be part of a valid maze, so this has to come up but not come through this triangle, which is part of an end. Um, notice that having made this dead end, I don't want to have this connect over to that circle because I'm drawing in green the sure path, so this is shaded. The circle now just has a root to the left and a root to the top for it to stay connected. This joins to this path and actually shuts off that as part of the, the single unit directional maze. Um, these two shaded means these two unshaded means these two shaded from the two by two rule. Um, what more do we have? Uh, some different stuff maybe along the top and this is the same thinking on this side as we did down here. We don't want to form a loop across these groups so we can't come this way but we can come this long way. So I guess the break in for both sides of the grid is these long connections that marks this off. Same rationale around the circle not being used marks these in, marks this off. We have a case where this end doesn't want to come to this end because this is the goal, this is the end of that path. So on this side, we actually shade this off. The maze path comes down, puts that in. Now this path on the right has to come and connect somewhere, but it's not going to connect to the, the start too soon. It's got to dodge the start, so it's going to have to come through this rightmost column. In doing that, it's actually forced to come straight through those, avoid this two by two, avoid two by two, avoid two by two. In this case, avoid a shaded 2x2, two two, so avoid an unshaded 2x2. Two two. This comes through, these path ends have to connect once we see that. This gets shaded in. This and this, these path ends want to stay apart, so again, shade here puts this in. Uh, this circle cell is going to come and be one of the edges for this circled cell, but it's going to get one more either left or up. If it came up, it would uh, short circuit to that path there, so instead it's going to come this way. Marks this off for 2x2 two two rule, marks this in. These paths need to come and stay connected to the top, avoiding the two by two rule, but making those paths work. Completes the maze this way. We're not done with the puzzle and we didn't have shading be the uh, solution check for this puzzle because it is about building a valid maze. These triangle cells have to be part of that. Marking that in actually now completes the full uh, shading for this grid and you can see the maze was marked during the solve. So curious different kind of style is say it, it blends path and shading constraints and has enough theming around it that Prasanna did come up with a good number of interesting puzzles in the shading variety collection. I think this was the genre that had 10 and not 11 puzzles, but some fairly large puzzles to make interesting mazes. Maybe not a style we're going to do as often as others in the whole book, but a really enjoyable uh, treat as a new style to explore. And if you haven't seen this before, I hope you got some benefit from this video of some basic steps to think through when solving Nura Mesu puzzles. Thanks, and we'll see you again soon.